take top EU stories from the unit website include Be not afraid, leaving the European Union holds no terror. EU regulators overlooked flight safety risks. Foreigners migrating to Britain will have to take either a driving licence or the bus. EU kleptocrats are putting the better part of another 100 million euros on the ECB charge card. Plus, new legislation setting out the criteria for further and greater European Union expansion. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, from our homepage, Daniel Hannan writes a brilliant and in-depth article considering the whys and wherefores of Britain's extrication from the European Union project. Oh, how the tide turns as the political rhetoric shifts rapidly towards talk of a UK exit strategy. This new piece in our articles section considers upcoming regulation to improve flight safety and reduce the risks. However, deep concerns are raised that flight duty time rules don't go far enough in weighing factors such as time pilots spend commuting to their jobs. Of course, as soon as the EU starts writing legislation, we'll post it into our In the Pipeline section. Immigrants into the UK will be forced to take a driving test before they can drive on UK roads. This article looks at the safety issues and congestion build-up on Britain's roads as thousands of foreigners migrate into Britain. This is a key topic as UK roads already look like car parks during peak periods. Links to the article are below. Yes folks, it's back again for the third time this week. This is becoming an embarrassing recurring theme. Our kleptocrat EU master class is out with the ECB charge card again. This time it's dishing out an 84 million euro round of funding for EU ascension hopefuls Bosnia and Herzegovina. What a shame our pompous Pontius pilots can't see their way to sparing a little change to give the lovely people of Greece a break. I'm reminded of a brilliant track by an 80s band Banana Rama. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. Quite apt, I feel, for these belligerent bureaucratic bozos as they look to expand their banana republic. Interestingly, our legislation section carries details of new EU policies and legislation on EU enlargement criteria. The report considers the key points that ascension states must adhere to if they wish to join the EU programme. Of course, just like any self-respecting crack dealer, the Commission is always happy to dish out some funding to get ascension states in the EU habit, as apparently our kleptocrats have an infinite euro limit on the ECB charge card. Today in our video library, Barroso and Ashton receive terrible ratings in the EU midterm. Can the high delegates of the Commission restore confidence? This short video investigates. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.